So, all in all, this video is just to showcase I'm one of the customers who I guess had to basically do a full tune up in a sense just to even get my bike to work. Um, and I don't, I, I can't necessarily blame Fluid Free Rider, like I said, but at the same time, I don't think I should take all the responsibility. Um, you know, as a customer who's only ridden four miles in the, the new, the new thing, you know, like it's a little hassle,some you know, like. But I guess after, like, I'll know how to fine tune some things. But even now, like, because even if it is the rotors, like I said, these are probably like the the hardest things to take off and probably something I would have to send back to Fluid Freeride to do for me and that's probably like the worst hassle of them all like having to send something back um, yeah and so yeah like I said with all the footage that's that, that um, so yeah let me know let me know if you have any ideas any other people with the Mantis Pro uh, how you fixed it if you have before and uh, feel free to make videos about it because it's the only way we're gonna let uh, the companies know uh, what's kind of been going on and how they can effectively fix or you know change certain components to work better uh, and more hassle-free uh, yeah so this is my experience and yeah I hope to be able to fix this soon like I said as I'm editing the video I'm still working on this uh, trying to because obviously I know there's has to be some bend because if I'm fine tuning it and it's like scraping if these are the if these are the rotors I mean the calipers and the the disc is going from this to this that obviously means there's a bend or like a warp in the rotor and that's happening for both of them I, in the video the rear one did look pretty straight but it was more so like uneven more so like if this is the center of the rotor like if it's like that, um, it's not centered to the hub. So meaning it's moving like this instead of just like moving exactly where it needs to be. Um, if that makes sense. Like it's just not, uh, it might be flat. It's just not uh, centered to the hub. So I might, I might be able to adjust that myself, but I want to see if I could straighten out the calipers first just to i'm not even gonna lie dude i just want to ride dude i'm kind of it's not that i'm over the fixing it because that's you know if that's my that that would be my bad but like i said four miles in i didn't expect to be doing all this already. so i'm just lucky that i'm savvy because i used to work on my own bikes back in the day but not i've never had brakes before i used to ride uh fixed gear uh, freestyle to that part so it's just I just needed straps and tires all the time um, but yeah enough rambling for me I hope y'all enjoyed uh, or more so just found more so information of other people that are going through stuff too and if I'm just like the only guy with the thing you know then you know uh, fluid free ride hook it up with another one you know what I'm saying <laughs> But yeah, one of those works, you know. Um, so yeah, well, I'll update you guys. I don't think I'll be upgrading anything soon, but maybe the tires. But I need to see what I can do about these brakes first. So I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.